Hello everyone, I'm Jim Karras. Welcome to another episode of the Hamburgers and Hot Rods podcast. The title of today's show is Baker's Burgers, From Bricks to Burgers. Continuing our series on five of Southern California's pioneering drive through restaurant chains. In this episode, we feature the Inland Empire's hometown favorite local drive through restaurant chain, Baker's Burgers. Baker's Burgers is an Inland Empire fast food institution. Founded in San Bernardino by Neil T. Baker and his wife Carol in 1952, Baker's has grown to 39 restaurants serving San Bernardino and Riverside counties. Now operating under the trade name of Baker's drive through this local fast food restaurant chain is a favorite for fresh fare made from America's first twin kitchen. Neil Baker attended San Bernardino High School in San Bernardino and graduated in 1942. Neil married Carol, the love of his life, on June 22, 1946. At the time they met, Carol lived in Fontana and was working as a bus driver. She had just recently graduated from Chafee High School a year earlier in 1945. Also, in 1946, the Baker family started an adobe brick business selling heavy earthen bricks to the construction industries. Soon thereafter, Neil Baker established himself as an accomplished commercial and residential builder. In 1948, Baker and his best friend and high school buddy Glenn Bell, who himself would later go on to found Taco Bell, were inspired after watching the McDonald's brothers achieve success with their new concept as a drive-in hamburger bar. Neil had helped the McDonald brothers build their San Bernardino restaurant building for its original concept as a McDonald's barbecue restaurant. In the original McDonald's business model, the brothers employed 20 car hops and ran the business much like most drive-ins of the day. Baker was very much intrigued by the McDonald brothers' change of direction when they decided to reimagine the business into a quick-serve hamburger operation. Shortly thereafter, the two men would both go on to throw their hats in the restaurant business, each starting their first individual business in town not far from each other. Baker helped Bell build his first restaurant, Bell's Burgers, a small hamburger stand on the outskirts of town at the corner of Oak Street and Mount Vernon Avenue in March of 1948. Baker would go on and build two other restaurants for Bell over the coming years, including Bell's Taco Tia restaurant. In 1952, Neil and Carol set up shop on their own and opened their first Baker's Burgers restaurant on West Highland Avenue at F Street in San Bernardino. Often referred to as Baker's Drive-In by locals, the restaurant was soon a success. The menu was simple during the first few years. A hamburger, cheeseburger, double burger, or double cheeseburger were the staples. Customers could pair an order of french fries or a soft drink to complete their meal. Each of the burger offerings were cooked to order and built with pure beef patties, fresh lettuce, a tomato slice, baker's dressing, and served on a fresh lightly toasted sponge dough bun. Onion and a slice of real American cheese are available options. The original burger line, which now consists of the single baker, single baker with cheese, or the double baker, continues to be served in the same fashion. The bakers quickly expanded and opened their second restaurant in 1953 in Rialto, located on Route 66 at Acacia. In 1955, recognizing the profit potential of Mexican food, Baker added it to the menu and in doing so, Baker pioneered his new and innovative twin kitchen concept. The expanded menu concept was a first for the fast food industry and soon adopted by other operators in the region. At Baker's, the twin kitchen concept resulted in burgers being sold at one window and Mexican food at another. While speaking at a San Bernardino Historical and Pioneer Society event in 2007, Mr. Baker commented about his twin kitchen concept, saying originally 
If people wanted both, they had to wait in line twice. He then continued after a quick laugh, I got a lot of guff over that. In addition to running Baker's Burgers, drawing from his experience in the brick business, Baker continued in the construction trades as a general contractor and began to build custom homes all over the Inland Empire. His construction firm, Neil T. Baker Enterprises, which he incorporated in 1957, also built each of the Baker's Burger chain restaurants over the years. Carol Baker, always by her husband's side, also worked at both the construction company and the restaurant chain. From the beginning, she served as vice presidents of both firms. In 1960, Baker's added another restaurant to the chain when it opened its first restaurant in the city of Redlands, which would also become the couple's residential hometown for the remainder of their lives. Aside from her work with the restaurant chain and construction company, Carol Baker was a certified designer and successfully ran her own interior design firm, Baker's Interiors, for 30 years. She has designed the look of each of the Baker's Burgers restaurants and each of the custom homes built by Neil. However, while she did custom work for many prominent Inland Empire clients, Carol's family has said that her favorite design project of all of them was designing the Redlands home she shared with her husband Neil. In 1987, Baker's introduced real hand-dipped ice cream floats and shakes to the menu, offering the traditional flavors of vanilla, chocolate and strawberry shakes, and root beer, orange, and Coca-Cola ice cream floats. Since then, Oreo cookie, Butterfinger, mango, cherry, banana, and caramel shakes have also been added to the menu. In 1995, Baker's made fast food industry history again when it acknowledged the special character of the Loma Linda community with its predominance of Seventh-day Adventists, who are traditionally vegetarian and comprise about half of the population in the city of Loma Linda. The chain introduced an array of non-meat selections including the Boca Burger to make up its vegetarian menu. Recognizing their community, the Baker's team first elected to call this now third kitchen line the Loma Linda Kitchen Menu. The special menu was first offered at two of the chain's restaurants, which at the time was its Loma Linda and Yakaipa locations. Today, the vegetarian menu is now offered at all of the chain's locations. On May 31st, 2008, at age 84, Neil Baker died at his home in Redlands with Carol by his side. The couple had been married for 62 years at the time of Mr. Baker's death. Up until the last two months of his life, Neil still went into the office every day looking after his successful 36 location regional restaurant chain and construction business. Upon Neil's passing at age 81, Carol assumed the role and responsibilities of serving as President and Chief Executive Officer for both Baker's Burgers and Neil T. Baker Enterprises, overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of both companies. Members of the family also work at both businesses and at the time assisted Carol in running the two operations. The chain has opened or remodeled several locations over the past decade. Recent new restaurant openings include, on October 7, 2013, Baker's Riverside Magnolia Restaurant, December 9, 2014, Baker's Upland Restaurant, and on January 25, 2016, Baker's Riverside Van Buren Restaurant. On February 4, 2016, Starbucks moved into the former Baker's Redlands property located at 625 East Redlands Boulevard. Baker's had moved from this original Redlands location to another Redlands location years before. A popular Mexican restaurant, La Rosita, operated at the location after Baker's until 2014. In its Redlands restaurant design, Starbucks pays tribute to the history of the location in the building's redesign for use by Starbucks. 
The new Starbucks location is decorated with pictures of both the Baker's Burgers and the La Rosita Mexican restaurant, which both formerly operated at the site. Along with old pictures of the former building occupants, Starbucks also displays a plaque next to the historical photo which reads, Proud to be a part of your history. On May 29, 2017, at the age of 89, Carol Baker passed away. Her grandson, Jason Talley, assumed the role of chairman and chief executive officer for the two businesses. Neil and Carol's daughters, Janice Talley and Janet Wallach, their son-in-laws, Mark Wallach and Terry Talley, served with Jason on the Baker's Burgers Board of Directors. Since the very beginning, Baker's has always given back to its community. Over the years, Baker's and Neil T. Baker Enterprises both have been quietly generous with their unwavering community support. The family enterprises and their respective employees have raised over $1 million for the Easter Seals Society and have raised considerable money for the Children's International Fund and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Baker supports many athletic organizations from the Dave Stockton Coyote Classic and Eisenhower High School Home Run Club to the Ruthie Bolton Foundation, Basketball Clinic, and Yakaipa High School football team. Bakers also supports California State University San Bernardino and the University of California Riverside athletic programs. Additionally, Bakers established business scholarship funds at both the University of Redlands and California University San Bernardino. Carol was a longtime member of the First Church of Christ Scientist on Vine Street and was a docent at Kimberly Crest House and Gardens and University of Redlands Town and Gown. She also supported the Redlands Summer Music Festival as well as the Redlands Symphony and the A.K. Smiley Public Library and Family Service Association. The association honored Baker in 2012 with the Alfred H. Smiley Philanthropic Award. In 1999, she was named Redlands Woman of the Year. In 2004, Neil was awarded the Inland Empire Spirit of the Entrepreneur Lifetime Achievement Award for his contributions to the Inland Empire. Today, Baker's operates 39 restaurants throughout the Inland Empire. The menu offerings have been expanded to include the following three kitchen menu options. The American kitchen menu is comprised of a total of 12 main entrees, including seven burger offerings, four chicken sandwich options, and a grilled cheese sandwich. The Mexican kitchen menu offers 26 choices, including seven taco options, 10 burrito options, as well as nine other Mexican entree choices. The vegetarian kitchen menu has a total of 17 items that include burgers, soft tacos, burritos, and other Mexican dishes. The breakfast menu includes a total of 16 items consisting of breakfast tacos, burritos, sandwiches, and more. The sides menu offers a total of nine items including four french fry options, chips, bean cup, rice cup, and chili cup. The chain continues to offer its shakes and floats, soft drinks, as well as six hot drinks and four iced coffee drinks. Throughout their entire 68 years of serving guests, Baker's continues to only procure the freshest ingredients to prepare each of their vast menu offerings. Every item is made to order. Baker's does not equip its restaurant kitchens with microwave ovens and takes pride in serving its customers with quality food made with care by each of its more than 1,500 associates. That is our story of Baker's Burgers. We hope you enjoyed learning about this local family owned and operated drive through restaurant chain as much as we did. To share with us about the next episode, here is Sabrina. In our next episode, we will feature another homegrown local drive through chain, Orange County based Wienerschnitzel, the world's largest hot dog chain. Founded by John Gallardi in 1961, Wiener Schnitzel opened its first location established in Wilmington, California. Today, Wiener Schnitzel operates over 350 restaurants in 10 states and in Guam and Panama. From the first day, Wiener Schnitzel focused on drive through service as its main service model. Based in Newport Beach, California, Wiener Schnitzel has 166 Southern California locations. 
Known for its tasty hot dogs, Wiener Schnitzel has served hamburgers since 1977. The chain also offers a Polish sandwich, french fries, and much more. With their nostalgic and distinctive A-frame buildings with bright red roofs, visiting a classic original Wiener Schnitzel location is like taking a trip back in time, as customers actually drive through the A-frame structure when picking up their food after placing their orders at the restaurant's drive through lane speaker box. Wiener Schnitzel's chili has a cult-like following, and the chain's chili dogs have been a Southern California favorite for over 59 years. Still family-owned and operated, Wiener Schnitzel continues to have a loyal customer base throughout California and beyond. Please join us next time as we tell the story of Wiener Schnitzel on the next episode of the Hamburgers and Hot Rods podcast. That's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed your time with us today. You can visit us online at hamburgersandhotrods.com. There, you can check out our show notes, listen to our complete show library, or watch the YouTube video versions of each of our shows. You can also check out all of the various podcast platforms where our show can be heard. Until next time, thanks for listening. We'll see you then.